tested a lot of train in the North American matches lately, and it's been so CT-sided. Again, that comes down to North American problems in general, having issues with, you know, T-side execution. But in, in Europe, teams are actually utilizing the smokes a lot better, and it's been a lot even a lot more even-sided than, uh, than what we'd expect or what I've been seeing. So 9-6 is a scoreline we could actually potentially see here on this map today. Oh, yeah. If you press control, just so quick to the side, it's just me or is the map completely broken if you press, if you bring up your, your I was map? smart and saw that coming and I already rejoined the server. Oh, okay, well, it'll be, it'll be fine for me, you're the streamer. But anyway, yeah, uh, piss the run out away, so I'll let you take over. The interesting thing is where Pip is outside. He's pushed up really far and he's just waiting behind the boxes. He spins back around and actually does catch Bialy. I think he might have been expecting a flash to come out that he was waiting to dodge there. But either way, that brings us a man down on Virtus Pro's side. And all they have to do now is just make sure they spread this defense out quite thin and try and execute somewhere on the map. And it looks like they want to head in her right now. Meanwhile, Taz, or rather Pasha, excuse me, is the one to push out. So Pip does go down, but that pulls off two players as we saw out on that alley at Ivy. And that means inside right now is completely open, or rather a lot less defensive players in that position. That incendiary out on top of the site does do decent damage to the planter but Kirby's gonna go back into Taz and now it's just left to a four on three situation Neo going for this flank comes up the ladder catches MSL but with two more players in that hallway he's got a lot more work to do as Nico still down on the site will just distract the other two Neo though is doing the job he finds one more and manages to stay alive as Snacks catches Neo and Pasha gets AZ now they now have a chance to get on this as Kirby can get forced back, Neo has to come out and make sure he defends his teammate who's trying to get this plant. They bait him out, gets the kill, and no kit. Does he have time? No, not at all. So, unfortunately, kit is going to make the difference in the pistol round as it so often does. But not a bad retake from Virtus Pro's uh, point of view, considering how far they were from that B site when the execution came in. Oh, Neo picks up the kit right at the end. Does a bit unfortunate. But, yeah, I mean, I, that, that push, that early push... Uh... All right, look at that, three scouts. Yeah, that early push that came out there, I wasn't too sure about it. I think it was uh, Bialy that came all the way out through Ivy and pushed through. And then they kind of put two men there as well to get a little more information, just to get the trade. You know, if one did go down, then it was, it was slightly questionable. But now they're going to go straight into the, second, into the second round here. They're going to go straight out. Oh, the scouts doing work. Scouts doing a lot. Oh, it was actually a Deagle. They continue to spam. And could they pick up another one? They do. And this is putting Dignitas down. Neo and Bialy with the scouts and the Deagles. That seals up that round. Yeah, really well done. That's a really well done and eco execution to go for the double scout. You have to make that work, and already we're seeing the CT side. I think mobility is key, actually, on this map. Having an op is one thing. There are some new angles that have been created. You don't obviously have... You never really had it in CSGO in the version of train where you can't see under the trains, but you don't have that Z hall, the mid-connector there anymore. And Signatas is going to lob these nades out and try and go for a fast hit on A. But what you do have is a really cluttered A site. From Gooch, you can actually see through between the one and two alleys into that new connecting point, that new mid. But with the mobility of the scouts, you can jump over that bomb train so easily. Either way, Dignitas is making a case for this as they do still have MP7s up and in play. And now Nico picks up the scout. He's going to try and use this back and return on to VP. And he almost finds Pasha. Second time's a charm. He will take him down on the re-peak. But he's so low on HP. And he's going to get peaked and aggressed by Taz again this time. Who manages to get the kill. And Pip still has this bomb. The question is, is he going to get there before Neo gets out? Does put out that smoke to get him around the corner as Neo does spot him just as he gets into play. He throws out the decoy, potentially, to try and get him to bait away from the bomb, but either way, it's already planted. So, money won this time, despite that they were on the back foot to start out the round. They've pulled this back to make it reasonable. Neo just has to buy himself some time, or either way, get the kill, and that's exactly what he does. So, defuse for Taz, and Virtus Pro will take the lead immediately back, 2-1. to one. Yeah, I mean, they did, they did their best. Did a little bit of economic damage, but then again, a couple of, uh, couple of SMG kills, that's going to get you quite a fat bank. If you look at the cash here, yeah, look at that, 7k. Oh, Neo. Then again, he is 7 for 0, having a pretty fantastic start. That's going to get his momentum up and kicking pretty soon. But yeah, a lot of cash to throw around there. Now, I'm going to keep with the... Uh they're going to keep with the SMGs for now, and it's going to be another pistol buy up here. They are using their nades pretty well. They are getting inside. They're trying to do as much damage to uh, to Virtus Pro as they can. And I mean, that's guess what all you can really do when you are sitting slightly behind. But who knows? Eco rounds are not what they used to be. They are lethal. I always say when we play, you got to respect those pistol rounds. You have to respect the pistol round. Otherwise, you're going to end up going down. But you see Taz pushing through. He's got a whole firing squad sitting there waiting. But actually, he's going to slow down. Yeah, so roughly so. But oh, I think I'm going to have to get through here. Almost on top of Taz. Flash does go out, but can he hold it down? No. 
Kirby comes in with a fantastic headshot. Now the SMGs come out, hold down the trigger. There's one more there. We'll get the frag. Can he hold in and make it another one? That's going to be the final one for Snacks. And nice little clear up there. Cash wise, 9k for Neo and 7k for Taz. Yeah, really well done. So now we'll see the first proper gun, though, come out for Dignitas already. They've got an op in play for Nico. Excuse me, as we'll see if he can use that well on the T side. He looks like he's actually going to head down toward Ivy out of spawn right now. Pip's going to go with him. Actually, Nico's not sure what he's going to do. He considers going back to get the bomb. MSL's quite quick to get inside, though, and already inside ladder, so completely catching Neo off. He got there extremely fast, and Neo had no idea. He was trying to get up on top of the train just to spot middle, not even in toward the ladder room. And a nice shot, so MSL, the man making the calls, is making the plays as well right now as this SMG for Snacks has to be used well. He's trying to get in a position that will allow him to be close when they enter into the site, but with ladder now won and no crossfire set up to hold off MSL, he can't really push out as aggressively as he'd like behind the blue train. Because he'll get caught. He'll get completely slaughtered by MSL's position. Oh. Yeah, MSL, MSL's got that crag was fantastic. Got there really quick. And it's kind of strange that they would leave that, uh, that kind of leave that out. They just wouldn't look to, or kind of expect the push to come out there. There's not really much they can do. They get in that position to watch the TZ as well. But the smoke's not going to go out, so Pasha could be in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, but he's inside the smoke, so he's actually forward of it, so Pip needs to be careful because those are going to go past him. Meanwhile, we're going to see the execution come inside the B site, and it's all going to be on Taz down below to try and spam through this smoke. So far, hasn't found anyone, but he's waiting and biding his time. He hasn't been spotted either, and there's the shot. MSL does go down. He waits patiently and finds one lurking a little bit too far forward. Bomb gets planted out by Kirby. Now Taz... Again, getting smoked, has to go aggressive. Kirby's gonna find snacks, but Taz is still doing damage. They still haven't found him. He's changed his angle. He goes to the left. AZ finally does put him down, and now it's Bialy coming up from above who has to make damage come in as Nico peeking just a second too late. Won't spot him coming across and drops down into the site. It's AZ's turn to do all the work. Baiting out one, almost lines them up. Bash up, back into him, and now he knows this is the obvious spot for Nico to be in, and he tries to fall off of it to create a more elong elongated, excuse me, elongated angle, but... Nico's too wise for that, so Dignitas do win the first proper gun round. It brings us back a little bit, but that was a bit slow in the execution. B's looking a little bit better for them, I have to say. Yeah, I liked it. They got, they got the frag, they got the information, and then obviously Pasha. Oh, that was a mistake. A teammate just got knifed to 39 HP. Uh, yeah, so th that was nice patience as well, and I liked it. They didn't push. Once they got that frag, they kind of waited for a little bit of information. They saw the molly come out, and that then, yeah, decided to execute. B Taz, though, was in a great position. You saw him re sort of uh, change it around a bit and catch him with a little push. Now Pasha as well as Bialy. Well, oh, they get spotted out. They're going to push on through. They will take two frags there. And Pip goes down really. Oh, sorry. I don't Nico even think Bialy quickly. meant to hit Pip on that shot. I think he was aiming for the front player, but where he was already yeah. tagged from his Pasha. The, the stray bullet actually caught him as he adjusted his aim. So Bialy picks up a nice double that was perhaps unexpected, but it's good that they won that trade because where they commit two players to it, they have to win the trade. And Snacks, easy shot. Not sure why I have a sound glitch. We didn't hear that one fire, but either way, he does take down AZ. MSL, though, coming back in. Snacks going to work with this op. Yeah. That's going to be, a, it should be a pretty decent retake here for, yeah, around the back there, Snacks will catch him before he gets to hide in the guise of the smoke. Yeah, that, that was actually the, the, the knife onto, I think it was uh, Pip that got knifed, or, but that, yeah, the bullet, the spray, just that kind of caught him pimp, off guard, obviously way. getting tagged. Pimp, not Pip, sorry. It is, I know, pimp, I've been yeah, saying Pip too, because it's just been I, I, showing up in the obituary, but it's, it's obviously Pimp. Pimp, yeah, sorry, so Pimp, yeah, there was a knife there, unfortunately, and that did actually lend a hand, that spray, as, as you saw, Pasha got a tag in, and then obviously it was really just three or four bullets that came through from Bihali that kind of sealed it up, but yeah, four to two, mis costly mistake, to say the least, but yeah, pistols, pistol round now, once again, for for Dignitas, and uh, it's probably going to be more than ready for this thing, and wait here, they got a couple of AW one AWP still in the hands of Snacks, and, well, strange to see Pasha without that orb, we don't know how much he loves that. One of the weird things about this new uh, new train, excuse me, is Neo actually collects two on this anti-eco, and they're actually going to... One of the weird things about this new train is even though some of the setups take some time to implement, and you do get some delayed pushes, once the executions come in, they're normally really fast, because you have to split the A-bomb site completely open from long and the ladder, or I guess you can come in through mid. Either way, you want to divide the defense. And usually, if that doesn't work, you're going to hit B super fast to catch the rotators off. So it seems like it's like it's it's kind of like a build, 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 go. There's no late round heroic one on one plays. Not as common as you see on other maps, anyway. It seems to be quite quick when, once it once it does play out. Yeah. Well, 
Nico last man alive. He has 72. Managed to grab himself an M4A1, but he's going to run right into the line of fire here of Taz, and Taz will sort him out. Yeah, no, I agree. It's it's and that's kind of what we've been seeing. We saw them there that that previous round where they where they got their first gun with Team Dignitas with MSL that early frag and just the patience. And then as you mentioned, it's just like this burst of speed straight into the B side and get the plant. So AWP, yeah, it's it's it is a risky gun, which actually kind of changed with the old train. Old train was, well, some teams still like to like to think that scope rifles are the way to go on train. Uh, Envious, in fact, with their with their five scope rifle play, but so oh, we're gonna match it out to MSL. And they're still putting a little bit of priority here onto this ivy or the alleyway now, and well, we'll see if they can push again. Oh, MSL again, entry frag. A lot of pressure there. A lot of pressure from that ivy, but Virtus Proto doesn't have any of it. As Nino is going to close out the round again. He's off to a flying start. Up to 12 kills leads the way. Snacks not far behind on six. But you're going to see a lot of teams. I think Ivy is still going to come into play. A lot of people thought when the first version of the new train came in that it was a little bit less prioritized than 1.6 train where the bomb was actually in the alleyway and where it was a little bit forward that it wasn't as important. It actually, I think, can be even more important because the defenders have to play so far forward in the site. You can get behind them easier. So by committing yeah. men to it, you can actually catch the defensive off. But I, again, people thought in this version it would be even less than the previous Go version. It's not. It's still using being used for the same effect. Kirby, nice play. He's going to find two now with this P250 as he comes around from Green Train. Neo does respond, finds AZ. Things are looking all right right now, but Kirby up to his third kill. Switching back to the pistol. Can't get it out in time. Neo's already come over the top, and he's going to maybe potentially get the double. He's going to go for the knife, and he does. Oh. Talk about getting pimp slapped. Yeah, that was kind of the case, right? They, they got in really close up to the on side of the trains there, and that's one of the things, like, they play so far forward, you can have a man sitting there, and they managed to get those early frags, and I, I agree, there's there's definitely a lot more emphasis on Ivy now, and that's why uh, Virtus Pro have been committing at least two guys at close proximity within that within that region, because they know it comes a push there, they can deal with it, and they have. They dealt with it two, three rounds in a row, where they've kind of just sprayed down anyone who moves there, and an op shot in from Nico, take down Neo. And well, we'll see if we get more mobility here. Snacks won't be able to grab a second. Does leg one at least, but then Nico missing the second shot in that A side. But look at Taz. Look at Taz. Sneaky, sneaky player. Managed to go right through the smoke. Oh, the reload. That's. Oh, that almost ended in one of the biggest mistakes any player can make in Counter Strike. And that's shooting a few bullets and reloading. But oh, it actually works out well there. He does get the frag. And now, much better round here for Dignitas. That's a mistake anyone can make in any FPS game. So many players get caught off by that. It's like, it's just the, yeah. the train of thought. It's a bad habit. It's like quick switching. I had to unbind my quick switch key for a while because every kill I'd quick switch like a style thing and then I get wrecked by the guy who's trading me. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those bad habits players can develop and they're hard to break. They really are hard to break. No, Which, definitely, you get a frag and pull your knife out. That's the, that's the worst. Yeah. And usually they're developed in... I mean, less so with the reload, but the quick switching one, I see a lot of players doing it even when they're streaming in DMs. And it's, again, those little things that you don't think matter. It's a deathmatch, big deal. It, it can actually play in and slowly work its way in Ooh. to your game style. As Pasha's going to find out it, where exactly where AZ was trying to lurk and find this last gun from as he's going to save this M4. But it's going to be 7-3. Decent money still built up right now on the CT side. And it's, uh, it's looking pretty good for them that... As I say that, this will be the last round. If they don't win this one, this will be kind of getting grim, kind of getting tight, as Dignitas did reset what was potentially a full money bonus. Four rounds in a row, that one. So equally as important for them to win this one back-to-back, -back, and they're going to go to Nico's op to try and make it happen. Yeah, interesting Pasha not saving the op there, going for the M4A, M4A4, but then again, personal preference, and uh, knowing that Snacks probably had to reset his economy as well, but they did have a, quite a quite a large bank on his hand. But they are going to go for the B once again. We've got MSL coming real close. Yeah, Bialy will make quick work of him. And our pimp still playing slow here in this B. Going to go top side as well, trying to splash off the TZ. The Taz will make quick work once again. Spray, it's right down. Kirby went right past Taz there. But I'm going to go down as quick as possible. We've got pimp sitting on 8 HP. Kirby and Nico sitting in pretty close. Pimp's head will show, but he misses the shot. Now he'll finally seal it off there. Neo, quick frag. And just Nico left with AWP. Can this, is this break on all enough? Peaks again. Bialy. We'll take him down, and it's going to be another round here for Virtus Pro. So they will get their cash, and they are going to save the AWP. Well, that's the big thing, saving the op, because this does build... Their economy was getting a little bit weaker. They're still in a good position, obviously. They've already got the eight rounds um, to work with. 
Obviously, they're going to want more than that on CT, but it, this by saving that AWP, it does start to build up their economy. And interestingly enough, good money management just by getting that bomb plant down and having a really efficient round prior, they still are able to buy despite resetting that uh, that four-round money bonus. So Dignitas are able to pull this a little bit further just from that bomb plant. Kirby gets out the Deagle. He's the only one without a rifle, but Nico's going to catch out Pasha that time. Or rather, the other way around. Excuse me. I got confused. But nice shot. Wow. There you go. There's the Deagle. What a shot, Kirby. This guy, he's such a young player. And it's like, I think, I have to say the Danes right now in terms of having young talent. I mean, if you disclude Simple as perhaps the best of the young. Nice flash through. Bialy. He comes out. He only catches Kirby, though. So Pip's still waiting on the opposing side. That nade's going to do damage. In fact, it is what takes him down because the bullets hit first. And it hits the finishing uh, hit final blow. But I think the Denmark, the Danish right now, the, the Denmark scene has the most amount of young talent coming up. I have to say. Dignitas are definitely improving their game lately. I agree 100%. I mean, it is a country where Counter-Strike flourishes. I mean, most of the people I've worked with over there, they, they're really the only game they can talk about is Counter-Strike, and they, you can see why it's just so massive. But MSL here, 12 HP. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Might want to hold on to it, or maybe just try to get one or two more frags. As you said, the economy is strong, but it could be better. So if he manages to steal a gun off here, it could put them back just a little bit, but I don't think it'll be enough to matter. But he is going to hang out here in the ladder room, and that should be... A safe gun for him, at least with 18 seconds left on the clock. Talk a little bit about that uh, that push through. They continued, and I think it kind of it caught Dignitas off guard because they pushed, got a kill. Then you kind of think, okay, they might you know want to move back into position and expect something at least. You know, the pace of this kind of map like this, they're going to go for a rush or they're going to try get as soon as possible. But no, they flashed again and they pushed and they got another two frags, and that just shows you that the way these guys think, and it's it's incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's the big thing is that they had information. There was a player far back. They knew Pimp's been playing out there, so it's worth it to repeak. And if I, I think it's probably one of the only aggressive places. You can start to push the inner side a little bit up to the upper hallway, potentially go for a flank toward the ladder. But more than anything, that's the place you're going to get aggressive the most for the CT side. That's where you're going to get your aggro defense to get an information read. Because once you realize no one's going to be in that flank position to come out on the A site and divide you like that, then you can start getting more forward on the direct connection points. So by getting an early read there, it does allow your defense to be more committed and more aggressive inside the actual A site. Not just at pushing long, but look at Taz. One, two, three. They all drop down immediately. And as quickly as that, so Kirby now has to come up top and try and make a play with this P250 out. And Taz, he hasn't been tested too much inside. I said that the inside actually looked good for Dignitas when we started out. We thought that, that was going to be the better sight. And Taz, he's showing off that when they come there late, he's been just sitting there waiting for his time to shine. And he makes good work of it. It won't be the ace, though, because Bialy catches Pimp lurking on the A site far away from where Taz was. But nonetheless, great round from him. And look at the frag distribution. Three players on ten. All above anyone on Dignitas right now for VP. Yeah, I think at the moment they're kind of fighting for frags with Taz. Fantastic management there of his ammo was just great. He, it was headshots and then it was just the perfect spray right at the end to get that third frag. And I love it, man. This is this is CSGO at its finest right now from V from uh, from VP. But they're going to go for the smokes once again, try to shut down that CZ. And oh, Flash has come out as well. Snacks boosted up here. He's going to look for that opening frag, but instead they're going to go towards the B site. And I like this play. I like this play. Making a little bit of noise, but they're probably going to go in with a little bit of haste. They're going to move on down. Taz, nade in hand. Oh, doesn't get caught out there. Will he get this? No, it doesn't. Nico comes in, gets the frag, and now urgency coming out from Dignitas. They're trying to get the plant down, get into, get into favorable positions as well. One man trains, AZ goes on. Not having the best of games so far, but now going to move on out. Going to get the frag. Oh, two men training nicely there. Bialy takes down Pimp. And now it's just Nico, MSL, and Kirby. Three on three. We'll see what position they can hold there. Bialy. Oh, that nade almost... Almost. That was close. I really quickly highlighted it on the map as you were talking just to point out the fact that VP was so far away from the bomb and that they also had Dignitas players pushed up toward those connection points. So not only did they have to win the fight on the retake, they had to win the fight far away from the bomb. So even though they yeah. did win that, and obviously they, they lost the final kill, they did win those initial picks and they started to move forward, they lost so much time in the defuse that it made it really easy to bait out the timer at the end of that round. So that was actually really good from Dignitas getting really forward. Not often you want to see peaks in post-plant situations, but they knew they had the site to work with and they took full control of it. That was really well done. Yeah, having that AWP coming in from the CZ was also, as you said, they played from quite a distance, and you saw how quickly Dignitas got into the site and kind of make their way towards the Z. 
as the smokes rained out, flashes, and they did push them back quite nicely. But now we're going to go a little bit more confidence here. AZ gets taken out once again. The bomb is actually going out in the smoke. So spray control from Bialy slows it down for one more tap, but doesn't land the frag though. It does leave Nico on 28 HP, 3v5 at the moment. And uh, British Pro are going to go for the retake here, trying to set up in a favorable position. Pimp does get one. Neo tries to find through the smoke. It's actually Pack, uh, excuse me, Snacks that gets the kill. And they are going to find the last player remaining. Nico is T Neo is already on the defuse. So 11 4, a good half from Virtus Pro. And this is the more CT side that we, uh, we kind of expected to see. Keep in mind that the pistol round was won by Dignitas. They were immediately eco. That's so common lately in Go. But if that didn't happen, they potentially could have had seven rounds here. At least six, where they got three gun rounds. So then we would have had that 9 6 scoreline we were looking for. Now it's Virtus Pro's turn to start it out, and if they win this pistol, that's going to help them so much because they'll just get a nice, easy buffer. Oh, we had to get a full restart. I'm not sure what the call was there. Oh, it's a quick, quick, yeah, quick restart. Yeah, that, that was a really interesting half. I mean, Dignitas weren't making that many mistakes. Uh, they were just getting, you know, at some stages at least, Virtus Pro were just doing things that would, like, well, blew my mind a bit, but their aggression, I mean, that's the thing about the CT side. This changed quite a bit. Uh, kind of, I'd say, a meta go at least, that the CTs became so aggressive. It wasn't, it wasn't really at that point where you'd sit in a site and you'd you'd hang out, you'd get in a favorable position and wait for the push, wait to stop with smokes and flashes. Now it's just this aggression. And it'll be interesting to see if, uh, if Dignitas adopt a similar approach on their half, but... They are going to use their distance here with the USPs, and we'll see if they are able to at least get this very, very vital pistol round. Much different pistol setup as well from Virtus Pro, just fanning out across the bomb sites. Not an inner rush like we saw. Dayton Dignitas attempt. Kirby still committed to this Ivy position. MSL going to be watching inside on the upper. Between the two of them, they haven't got much information, but it does look like VP is finally stacking up and want to head toward. The B bomb site snacks gonna be the first one around the corner. Does he head lower? Does he head high? Because Nico is downstairs and waiting. So far, no smoke out, but they haven't peaked aggressively. And I like this position right now. Who is that that's up on the ledge? Snacks. Let's see if I can bring that up for you. I like this position. This is new. That little ledge. It doesn't let the feet be spotted, and you can actually drop off it and be a lot further down the ramp before you're spotted up by the CT holding lower. And as a result, he gets completely in. That smoke comes out late, blinds off the players coming over in the rotation position. Tax spots, one of them running through. I don't think they spotted him in return, but Pimp is going to come back out and try and get the shot. He takes down Taz originally. AZ coming over the top. He'll take down Snacks. And now Dignitas look poised to get their second straight pistol round. As they smoke the upper position, they can't go for this repeak on the bomb site, or can they? Neo through the smoke, unbelievable, he burns away Nico as well, as that's already on the bomb site, and Neo is making a case for an excellent comeback right now from Virtus Pro. As Pasha, he'll take down AZ, and Neo, what a turnaround, and he'll get it through the smoke on Kerby. Four kills from Neo, unbelievably good pistol round. That kill through the smoke was the making point of that round. It wasn't even the fact that he that he walked through the smoke. It's that he ran and boy came through the smoke. It's that he burst fire through the smoke and got the frag. That was incredible too. In fact, through the smoke as well. There's something I wanted to touch on right at the beginning of that round. I was watching uh, VP and I was like, man, this is this must be agonizing for them. They're playing so slowly, and that's not the way VP play. We like VP because they're aggressive. Uh, it, they, they make things happen. And then I thought, okay, well, when they started dropping players, and I was like, oh, this could be a bit of a It was a big nade that came in, and then all of a sudden the pace has changed, and VP were running around grabbing frags. Have a look at this. Emphasis on Ivy once again. Snacks going to spray down perfectly through the smoke. Kirby will take the brunt of that one. And, well, now it's all in their hands. Double scout up too, so we'll see what Pimp and Easy can make with this. Pasha already getting that first kill. He's going to try and push forward now into that smoke. Snacks is still waiting with the Tech 9 outside of the A site at that mid connector. And Pasha's going to flash himself through. Well done indeed. Finds Pimp. So one scout already down. Second one in the second alley is also going to have Pasha lurking. He sees the barrel. He's waiting for his time to come around, and he does take down Easy. He'll pick up the gun as well to work backwards into the last remaining player, MSL. Does have a deagle. We've seen Kirby get a nice one deag out at Ivy in the first half. We'll see if he can at least get one to work with here. As he gets closer and closer to this bomb, unfortunately doesn't connect on the first shot. And Bialy, he'll put him down and out. Virtus Pro now on 13. Yeah, like I said, that pistol round was crucial. And it, uh, it was going well until Taz decided he'd had enough and the smoke was not going to stop him. So... You don't want to be sitting in position at 14-4. We've seen comebacks on train. It happens. It is a favorable CT map. And just at the moment, the momentum built up by 
by this pro 22 for four can only dream of having a score like that but oh quick push down here it's gonna be enough they do stacking on top of each other head and that's gonna go straight into the a side there's taz and snacks pick up a frag and now smoke gonna go down once again they're loving the smoke and plant here a little bit of a duke as well planting in the fading smoke at the moment one oh comes my god is he gonna go for the knife he gets it snacks wow and now smg he actually got knife bite snacks in return, so AZ didn't get that. It was the other way around. I think actually what he saw is we, we saw AZ get a little bit exposed, and then they responded by running into it. Yeah, I can't see the chat, unfortunately. It's not showing up. I'll have to press console, but I think they're both laughing about it because I heard chat now AZ has come up. Does the round get closed out? Let's see what they said. Pimp says HP because he actually did hit him. Yeah, and 40 is the response. That's pretty funny. Did I knife you? Let's see. No. Okay, so he actually didn't hit him in the smoke. But that's really funny. He was trying to pull the KD in, run in, take down the planner. The round was pretty much already lost at that point. They had full control of the A site, and they were obviously working against pistols, so... Hilarious attempt. Yeah, and the spy from uh, Dignitas is... Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. Got a scout to farm us, and uh, obviously the three M4A ones. But I got them in the right positions as well. MSL up on the train here, watching that B. They've seen VP... Maybe they've done a little bit of homework. They know that VP, this could be one of their picks for the maps because they've done all their homework on VP and they know how VP like to play this T side. Have a look at this though. Smoke's gonna go down, but MSL is in a favorable position. He will throw smoke to counter it as well. Jump scout here from Nico. Oh, he actually gets it with a, was that a really quick scope or was that a no scope? They are gonna push on three here. Snacks will come through, we'll catch one. He is flashbang down. MSL will finally go down, not hanging out on top of that train at all. The bomb will go down here. All the flash banged up. Snacks will turn the frag. AZ comes through once again and gets taken out. Yali answers with Nico right at the back of the trains there. And Virtus Pro once again. This time hanging a bit closer to the bomb here. Not pushing out like Dignitas did on their T side. But uh, this could be dire times right now. 2v4. A couple of well timed headshots. And this could turn right around. But it looks like they're thinking, all right, we'll push this for the overtime. We'll keep on to our rifles. Here's one coming through CZ Carry. Might be able to get the frag. Taz is looking around though, and he does actually get it. That's important. Much angle there. That's important. It's not so much about limiting the economy right now of Virtus Pro. They're going to be on match point. It's about keeping guns up. If he loses that gun, it's one less they have to work with when they go for this force to try and make something out of this game right now because it is 15 to 4, and Virtus Pro looking very composed. They've won every round so far on the T side, and Dignitas, they picked this train map. You said this could have been a mind game, this could have been a curveball, but you also made mention of the fact we both kind of thought it would have been their choice. As Kirby's gonna start this round off with nice spray through the smoke, we would have thought this would have been their choice, uh, Virtus Pro's choice based on how much they play it. Maybe Dignitas were unaware of that fact of how good Virtus Pro really is on train. Well, I'm sure they saw this weekend. I mean, it was kind of, well, at least for me, it was the talk of the weekend, just looking at a map like train and, you know, learning it myself personally and it's one of the teams that i would think would actually be worth a watch but now taz is he gonna get spotted out there does get tagged down to 26 but doesn't matter az struggling to find his form out oh, neo makes it a three on three hp it's actually very equal at the moment but nico does take off basha that's gonna be a pretty important frag but the rest of Virtus Pro are inside the B bomb side. Oh, we're going to spot out there. 15 HG on Nico. He can't really afford to go for this peak. So I did rather wait for the trade from Kirby. Kirby will find one. He found the second. He doesn't get the angle. And still a 2v1. Taz only on 26 HP. Watch Pimp though. I think... Yeah. Pimp's in a really good spot. Taz may get the first. He actually, because he got him so soon, has full control of it now. The situation is his to win because he just has to bait this out. Pimp didn't get in position to trade that kill or pinch onto Taz quite as quickly as he would have liked. And unfortunately, this bomb, he's going to have to fall off it. He doesn't even go for the defuse, and it's GG. He gets the kill, but he realizes that unfortunately...